What's up guys and welcome back to another episode here on Full Throttle. My name is Charlie and this is my girlfriend Selena. Hi. And uh, today uh, we're, we're gonna do something pretty cool. We've been waiting a couple of months on this exhaust system that she got and it's uh, one of the best ones you can get. So, we're also gonna be doing her coilovers. She got the true rears. We're gonna finish up her sway bar and end links on the rear. And then this is the exhaust. So we're gonna unbox it. First we're gonna do the coilovers, then we're gonna do the exhaust and we'll show you guys what it is. It is one of the best ones you can get. And that's it. All right, so, so far, We've uh, gotten that piece out, and now we're starting to take everything else out of the box. So this doesn't utilize um, like a flat flange. It has these clamps instead. So it's supposed to be a lot better and easier to install and easier to uh, take off, replace parts, whatever. So yeah, so now we're gonna get to um, taking everything out and getting her car ready to put up on the lift. All right, so we're unboxing the coilovers now. And uh, so far they come with these things, the, the adjustment knobs that go up through the rear uh, strut tower or um, the strut tower brace on the rear of the car. And uh, where I drilled a hole in my BC coilover installation video. And then, these are the true rears here. So they come with the locking nut on one side. Um, I didn't have, it's just a nylon nut it looks like. I didn't have that on my car so I just used a factory one from a different location. And uh, so this is basically what comes in the, in the package. You get the spanner wrenches, the coilovers, and as far as I've seen in the instructions, the springs are already preloaded at the factory and I think we're gonna throw them up and see how they look on our car first and then we'll adjust uh, accordingly from, from there. And this is pretty much everything else that comes in the box, the instructions, and uh, this is actually the side of it, but this is the uh, front of them. And then kind of tells you about how to adjust ride height and I was doing it correctly in, in, my, uh, in my first installation video. So all you have to do is loosen the lock, uh, the bottom locking ring and uh, you spin the whole coilover assembly uh, inside of the lower mount and that way you don't spin you don't spin just a spring and you don't preload the spring anymore all you do is you twist the entire thing and the only thing that doesn't move is this lower mount all right guys, so in this video I'm also going to do a couple of quick videos and I'm going to show how to uh, drop an exhaust and different stuff like that. So basically, um, to drop your exhaust you've got your two 14 millimeters here stock, they're 14. You've got a nut on, back, on both of the back sides. So you've got four up here on the front, they're all 14s. You've got two right here that are tapped into the Y pipe and on the reverse side there's a 14 millimeter nut and then up here you've got two 14s and you've got another 14 that's usually on the other side of this grounding strap. Can you guys see what I'm talking about? It's usually on the other side of this grounding strap right here and so there's two 14s and then there's another 14 on top of that and that drops the mid pipe and then you've got your exhaust muffler which you've got a couple of bolts up here. Where are they? Oh they're under here. So all of these are 14s as well. I think there's three on each side. So there's three up here. You have to remove this bracket right here, which um, is kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. But you've got a, a 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here. I think you've got a couple of clips right here somewhere. And then you've got another 10 millimeter up here. And, uh, and then that'll give you clearance to get to these three 14s. Same thing on the other side but you've got your uh, fuel vapor canister in the way and you've got this other bracket right here as well. A couple of 10 millimeters over here, 10 millimeter right here, another 10 millimeter up here. You can see that up in there. And then you can get to the 14s 
that are up here holding this side of the exhaust bracket in place. I'm probably going to just slip the bushings off, the uh, exhaust rubber hangers, and uh, do it that way. I just wanted to do a quick little rundown real quick on how to remove this exhaust system. And there's another 14 on the uh, rubber So this is how it came out. They look, uh, the tips look pretty nice. Yeah. And, uh, yep, that's how it came out. Looks hella nice, I can't wait for her to start the car. I'll get back to you guys when she starts it. Alright guys, so now I'm going to get back to you when we start doing the uh, VC coils. Alright guys, <laughs> so it's like 11 p.m. We're still uh, we're still putting this together. We got everything apart, so the rears are apart, the exhaust system is in, there it is, and it looks pretty fucking good, and uh, she, we got her sway bar in already, we got her exhaust in, her spring buckets are tightened back up with zero springs in them because we're putting on true rears so <laughs> so uh yeah we're uh we're gonna get started on this we're gonna put the uh the rears in and we're gonna save the fronts for the morning what is you doing <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now what we're doing is we're taking this here, okay. and we're going up here. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for tonight. I started uh, putting on the coils on the rear and oh my god, this camera sucks at autofocus. 
So we got the true rears on and they look pretty nice and we got the other side on as well. We got the exhaust on. We got her lower sway bar for the rear on and uh, tomorrow we're going to be finishing up the front coils. Alright guys, so it's day number two. Getting the coilovers on and we already got the rears on last night. I showed you guys that and uh, now we're starting on the fronts and uh, taking off all the front stuff. Alright guys, so it's pretty much the next day. This is going to be the end of this video. It was just a little time lapse, you know, me and my girl putting on her exhaust system, her coilovers, and uh, her rear sway bar and end links. So um, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments section. I'd be happy to help. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.